When we have to give talks in the West, we always encounter two particular things. A lot of ignorance about this topic. People who are amazed when they hear the things we say. They weren't informed by those who should have informed them. But secondly, we see that there is a lot of interest. Yes, people show solidarity. Yes, people want to unite themselves to the sufferings of our Christians. They say, what concrete things can we do? We always answer the same thing. First, pray. We are Christian, and for us prayer is not just repeating nice words. A real dialogue with God where we implore help. Prayer moves mountains, as Jesus Christ said. We ask that everyone pray for the persecuted Christians. There can be no excuses. Everyone can do this. Prayers and sacrifices. In the second place, make sure that you know what is happening because it is not known. In your home, your workplaces, in your environments, through the mass media, Four years ago, more or less, I was in Baghdad, and what did I see? I saw that people were dying there every day, practically every day, and it's not made known. If in an attack 40 people are killed, it doesn't merit a single headline in the West. If 40 more die, maybe a little paragraph. I said, it can't be that the people are not interested. I am going to do my part at least. For this reason, we started our Facebook page and blog, Friends of Iraq, and what happened? Hundreds of thousands of people were interested in it. It is the work of an amateur. It tells a little bit about what is happening, and yet every year there are millions of people who have shown interest and supported us. In Syria, we're doing the same thing with the Facebook page, SOS Christians in Syria. I ask everyone to share through the mass media the truth of what is happening in these places. And leave us your message of support. This is what we say to people, people from Colombia, Venezuela, Argentina, Spain, France. They sent us prayers, and this is a great consolation for the people. It's difficult to live alone. When you know that you are not alone, this consoles you. So, not just to pray, but to make it known, because there is a lot of interest, but there is very little information. When someone clicks, I like, on a Facebook page or shares the news, what occurs is that 50, 100 people find out about this, and then there are 100 people praying. This does a lot. It does a world of good to us. Christ says, a cup of water that you give to a disciple of mine will not go without reward. Imagine what you can do for these persecuted Christians. It will not be left without reward. Perhaps your click sent makes it possible for others to give help where you are unable to. That is going to help and save lives. Christ said, he who helps the least of these because they are my disciples will receive a disciple's reward. That means he who helps a persecuted Christian, a martyr or a witness to the faith will receive that reward. And we can do this by simply sharing something. Thirdly, economic help. There is a country to be rebuilt a multitude of refugees to maintain food, medicine, school transport, schools. Now we have to rebuild entire cities. Specifically speaking, in our blogs you can send a donation by payment. With a little help you can do a lot. I want to repeat something that Bishop Amel Nona, Bishop of Mosul said, who came here. He lost his entire diocese, Chaldean bishop. The city of Mosul practically disappeared. He was left without Christians. And he said, don't be afraid to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's what we ask for. We need a Europe with a strong Christian faith. That you not be ashamed of the Christian faith.
What we are asking is that each and everyone live their Christian faith. Because if you live your Christian faith, you can change the world for the better. Because if you live your Christian faith, you become more charitable. What is the Islamic State? It's the proof of how far hatred can go in the human heart when one allows it to enter in. This can be counterattacked by Christian charity. Charity is all-powerful because God is charity. Our duty as Christians is to proclaim our faith, to strive to be saints, to improve our charity towards our neighbor. And this way we can change the world. For some, it may sound like empty words, something that just sounds very nice. Well, the one who thinks so is not Christian. Mother Teresa changed herself, and in doing so, she also changed the world. The world is a far better place thanks to her. If we do the same, we can also change the world. Therefore, this is the most effective way to fight against groups in Islamic states that spread hatred.